Champs and today I'm going to talk about what we've all been waiting for, well at least what I've been waiting for, and that's the new Dell XPS 15 9570. Just going to give you my thoughts on it, we know what it is now, we know the full specs, due for release, I've read somewhere April the 16th, maybe in the US you can order it at the moment, I'm not sure, but I read other places where they said May as well, so whatever it is, it's due to drop very soon. So what that means now is the current XPS 15, you can pick it up for a steal. Like there are a lot of deals going on, even on Dell's website, they're doing a bit of a clearance of those models. The 9560 is a beast, okay? So I highly recommend getting one of those if you can get a deal. I know it's tempting to go for the newest and the latest, but just think about it. It's got one of the best displays on a laptop. It's got plenty of power, quad core, 45 watt part. GTX 1050 with four gigabytes of RAM. It's great for gaming, it's great for video editing, content creation. And if you can get a deal, definitely pick one up because the new one, the 9570, will have a premium price, I would say for at least a few months. So there will be a big price difference. So what are my thoughts on it? Well. It's not the next generation XPS 15 we might have hoped for, but don't be mistaken into thinking this is just like a minor refresh. This is a massive refresh. It looks the same because it uses pretty much the same chassis, probably uses the same keyboard, probably the same cooling, pretty much has the same ports, except you get a four times Thunderbolt 3 port, which everybody has been crying out for, now you got it. Also HDMI 2.0, so it may be possible to actually run three 4K screens at 60 hertz if that's the sort of thing you want to do. I'm not sure, but it may be possible. So I do think there is another XPS 15, maybe end of the year, early next year, and that will be more like the current XPS 13, where they'll probably put the Gore technology in, they'll probably work on the thermals, we'll get a bit of a facelift there, probably a new keyboard, but I think pretty much everything else will be exactly what this 9570 has now, because it has a new display, brighter displays, so up to a couple of hours, was extra battery life with the 4k model there so that's fantastic so it's brighter same 100% adobe rgb coverage there so the one in the current model is fantastic so this one promises to be better brighter and use less power fantastic and that's the one of the things i really wanted the most is to get the battery life a bit longer using the display that uses less power now there is a full hd option that is not touch the 4k model is touch but not only does it have a new display it has a new CPU, we're getting six cores here, up to i9 as well, but generally the workhorse of this model will be the i7-8750H. That will be the CPU most people will probably get, but you have the option of the i9. I doubt it will be worth getting the i9 because the i9 is probably better for gaming laptops where they have like more robust cooling and you'll be able to get the maximum performance out of it in a tight package like this in the XPS 15, I doubt whether you'll be able to get the maximum performance out of the i9, but we'll have to wait and see. But you've got to remember you've got a GTX 1050 Ti in there, so you're getting more heat introduced into there through the graphics card as well. So new display, new CPUs, new GPU, GTX 1050 Ti, four gigabyte, but most importantly, a new motherboard. So I think this motherboard will be carried forward to the next generation XPS 15, and all those components will probably be to and they'll probably update the chassis, keyboard, put that gore in it like the XPS 13, work on the thermals, etc. But I do think they're working on a next generation. So don't think that this is pretty much the same thing. They've just dropped a new CPU in there and a new GPU. It has a new motherboard. Now it says it supports 32 gigs of RAM and that's probably the maximum you can get from Dell. But I'm pretty sure when 32 gigabyte sodium RAM sticks come available, if they ever do, you probably will be able to put 64 gigs of RAM in there because the chipset certainly supports it. And this is a new motherboard with the new chipset. The chipset that drives this supports 16 lanes of PCI Express. So they're divvied out to the SD card slot, you know, the Thunderbolt 3 and the USB, etc. It gets a new color, a darker color, which I really like. They've, you know, changed the finish there, which is fantastic. And, you know, I've already said the XPS 15 is my favorite laptop for sure. And this just makes it better, doesn't it? I mean, what's not to like? More powerful CPUs, graphics, better display, new motherboard, Thunderbolt 3, times 4 ports, HDMI 2.0. It's absolutely killer. Now, I know a lot of people saying, oh, it doesn't have a GTX 10. 
1060 max q or whatever 1070 but i'm yet to see a package this small and thin that can house those components without throttling or deafening you so we'll have to wait and see how this system handles the new graphics card the gtx 1050 ti which should be roughly 20 percent faster combined with the new eighth generation i7 8750h we'll have to see how that combination does whether the fan has to run all the time to keep these components cool especially the cpu does it run a bit warmer this will all come out in the wash we will soon find out also the ram is 2666 megahertz so if i'm not mistaken the last one was 2400 so let me know in the comments what you think they're also going to have a model with the gtx 1050 the GTX 1050 Ti will be an option, so will the i9. I don't think it will come out with the i9 straight away. It'll come out with the i7-8750H, which as I said is a six core part. So this thing is super powerful. Now I know this competition say from like with the Gigabyte Aero and I believe I'm getting one sent to me today. So I will have that in for review. If you're just looking at the competition for this laptop, it just absolutely smashes all the competition. When you consider that the MacBook Pro is probably its main competition, it absolutely smashes that. But we will have to wait for a refresh of that and then we'll compare them. But at the moment, the current XPS 15, the 9560 actually smashes the MacBook Pro. So this one even just pulverizes it with the gigabyte aero i guess it's in the same class as the gigabyte aero now i mean the gigabyte aero is a bit thicker it's a little bit heavier but not by much it's only marginally thicker and it does have extra ports it does have gtx 1060 as gtx 1070 max q also and you can get a 4k 100 adobe rgb calibrated display by x -Rite. so i will be comparing those two and i'm going to be totally honest with you it'll be out of these two laptops on which one i purchase i'm not going to be suckered in by just thinking oh this one has a 1060 has a 1070 whatever i'll just get that one that I won't do that. I'll get what's right for my needs. And pretty much the current XPS 15 is great for my needs. I didn't see any limitations. This one's just going to be better. We'll see with the Gigabyte. I should have it in this week. So I'm going to put it through my full suite of tests, do all the reviews, the video editing. I'll be compare it to other laptops. I won't compare it to the XPS 15, the current one. I'll compare it to this one, the new one that will be due, the 9570. I'll wait for that to come out because they're both new models and both use an eighth generation then. And that's the thing. You just got to get what's right for you. There's no right answer here. What is the best laptop? Well, it's the laptop that's best for you. And I'm thinking this XPS 15, it's pretty hard to beat and we will soon see. So let me know in the comments what you guys think and what other laptops you're very interested in. Can't wait to get my hands on this and the new Gigabyte Aero. Um, stay tuned for those reviews. Make sure you like, subscribe. And if you leave a comment and you want to test, I will do my best to do it. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And until next time, guys, tally. Ho.